well, good afternoon and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. You know, I wish I could think of something else to say in the beginning of that. It kind of gets old. And especially with as many videos as we do. Oh, this is Ginger's kids. Ginger's puppies are going to be seven weeks old tomorrow. And I know I'm behind on you too. So they just got a bath. Allie has been bathing puppies all morning. And they are super, super curly. I'm just shocked how curly they're getting. They are all doing really good. Um, let me move this over. I've got it bent. And so we've got them outside in the heat for a, just a quick video. Um, desperately trying to catch everybody up. As you know from you've probably listened to other videos, I'm behind. So I won't even explain it. Um, these guys are completely in the house with us. They will not see their mother again before they go home. Uh, and I do not send you home with a toy that smells like their mom. I want them to forget their mom. So why would I send them a toy home that smells like mom? So I send you home with a toy that smells like their kids, the, all their siblings, because that's who they're gonna remember the most because that's the last people they're gonna see. Um, mom has been out of the picture. She got tired of them really quick and was growling and going outside and completely staying away from them. So mom did not last long after six weeks old with these kids. Um, so in here, 8245 is a male. It's a black and white, it weighs three pounds, eight ounces, and it has a yellow collar. Uh, in fact, it's right there in front of us. It has the most black spots on its back. There, you just got a quick glimpse of that collar when it flashed it. ID244 is a male. And it is a chocolate and white party, which is clear in the back. Back here. Looks like it's black on this video, but it's, oh, no, it's behind the toy. Right there in the opening of the toy. It's coming around the toy. Oh, all we got was a quick butt shot. There's the, never mind, it's not going to come out. It's right there, just came around the toy. That's the chocolate and white. It's got a turquoise collar on, weighs three pounds, eight ounces. 82.39 is the next one in here. It's a female, black and white, three pounds, 0 0.5 ounces. And she is now back there in that back corner. You can just see that one black spot up on her back. All right, so 82.39 is the female. Nope, that's the wrong one. That is the one we're on. She's got a purple collar on, which you can't see for all her hair. She's got so much hair. 82.38 is a male, and it's a chocolate. It weighs three pounds, 10 ounces. It's got four white feet. I think it's right there. But so does this one. So I'm gonna have to find, I'm gonna have to find. And so does that one. It's one of those three with the white feet. Um, we'll have to find out what color collars they have. So anyway, he has a forest green collar. So we'll figure that out in a little bit. We'll try and find them for you and maybe you can pick them out better than we can stand in here. 8242 is a male with a chocolate, three pounds, 12.5. He has the neon collar on, neon orange collar on. 82.47 is a male black. I can spot him and he's got a green collar. That's him in the corner coming up right there. He's got the white feet also. 82.46 is the last guy out here. And it's a chocolate male with four white feet and has a red collar. Which one? Is that, a, that one's got the red collar? Yeah, it does. I just spotted it. So this little guy right here in the corner has the red collar. It's like, whoop, where's she going? Oh, I know, now you're gonna cry at me. Uh, neon orange, okay. This one is neon orange, right there being attacked, and now attacking, that's the neon orange. So then that means the other one over there has the horse green collar right there. All right, so that kind of gives you a quick glimpse. But I'll tell you what, they look so much alike at this age with the white feet. They're really fancy. I love this litter. I can absolutely guarantee you we are going to breed this litter back to Hondo. I love the colors he gave us. He gave us a nice sampling of three different colors with different markings. Really pretty, flashy gingerbread legs and big white tuxedo chests. 
What more could you ask for? And personality-wise, they're awesome. Um, Hondo has been such a great addition for us. I'm really tickled that, that he came up from Texas. He and Wrangler are both up here from Texas. But Wrangler we haven't used yet. He's still a little squirt. Um, but we will use him later on this year. He says, oh, don't bother me. He said, I, I've got him pinned for a count of three. Uh, they're doing really good. They have had their first set of shots. They've had their third worming. And they'll get their, um, probably going to get their nine-week shot or be close to it before they go home. Uh, if not, we'll give it to you if you're coming and they're due for it. We'll wait till you're here and give it to them while you're here. A lot of people like to learn how to do their own. So I want to be able to hopefully show you if they're due for their their nine-week shot. <laughs> their nine-week shot is like, leave me alone. They've been a really fun group. Um, Ginger has turned out to be a great mom for us. Um, I love the fancy colors we get from her and I like this size. I'm so anxious to see how these guys develop for everybody, the size they get for you. <laughs> the little one with the red collar says, enough is enough. That was him that was making the squawking noise when they went away. Somebody's bothering him and he doesn't want to be bothered. It says, I here he comes through the toy. That's the one with the red collar. I love this toy. We have, Robin came to pick up her puppy from Chamois the other day. And she had picked this up for me in New York and delivered it. And we are so tickled to get it. They really enjoy it. Kind of makes my uh, culvert tile look a little sad, but it's been fun. It's got enough of a little bit of a hill that they slide out of it and they slip into it when they go up. But uh, it's a little tight toddler toy. And these are awesome for puppies. A friend of mine, I spotted hers on Facebook. She raises Shelties. And up in Minnesota and uh, Vicki had really really beautiful Sheldy pups the day I saw this and they were all playing inside of it and having a blast what what are you telling me about it what I'm trying to look at collar color I know it I can't see it but I can see the buckle Forest green, maybe? I don't know what that... What? Purple? Oh, it's purple. I, all I could see was a buckle, so that's a little purple colored female. I think that's her. Well, a couple things. Um, I am sending all of you out an email today that will give you the balance due on your puppy. It will give it to you two ways. One way if you pay it with PayPal and, and uh, credit card. The other way, if you pay it by Zelle or Venmo, because there is no fee for Zelle and Venmo. Um, also, if you're flying your puppy to you by nanny or driving it through transport by nanny, there is no sales tax since you'll be going out of state with this. So there will also be um, a note on there for you for that also. But please read your email. Uh, you'll probably have your emails by the time you see this video tonight. And if you have any questions at all about it, uh, balance due is not due right now. I just wanted to get these out to you while I've got two days of somewhat normalcy that I can send them to you. Um, this is the only day today and tomorrow that we do not have puppy pickups. So that's kind of why we're trying to catch up on videos, get you some information out on your puppy pickup balance. I do not have a credit card machine here now. When COVID hit and everybody was paying for their puppy by credit card off the website or through PayPal or Zelle or Venmo, I s turned my machine back into the bank. I couldn't see paying for it every month and fell down, slid out and uh, not use it. So I do not have a credit card machine here now. So it's really important that if you're going to do credit card, read that information and you can do it through the website online. Uh, but there is a 4% fee for PayPal or credit card, which the totals will show you on your email. Also, if you are going to raise your puppy on newspapers in your crate, um, I have tons and tons of newspapers here. And you are more than welcome to have all you want or not take any. It's entirely up to you. But uh, we are going to offer them to you in all your puppy packets. And if you want more, just ask me. You're more than welcome to have all the paper you want. 
Uh, also give you tips on where to get paper um, when you're here. And if you're a doer, if you're a do-it-yourselfer and like to do things at your home and not through a vet all the time, let me know that when you're here, and I'll be glad to give you some tips that we do um, and have done for years. So, other than that, um, you should have all gotten your videos to watch before you come. So, please watch those. Bring me any questions you have when you come to pick up your puppies. And I'll be glad to, you know, help as much as I can. If you have not booked in for pickup, please do so. Because um, I forgot how long puppy pickups were because of COVID. Nobody was here more than 20 minutes. But most people here are here on the average of an hour to an hour and a half. So, I have allotted everybody a two-hour space. And... Uh, so please, if you have not booked in, you should call and get booked in because I'm only doing five people a day. Um, and I don't do Sundays. So other than that, I don't have a whole lot to throw at you. Other than um, I hope you've enjoyed watching them today. They're enjoying it being out here. We're clouding up again, but I don't know if we're going to get any more rain or not. And this keeps getting darker and darker and I could keep trying to pop the light up on this so you can still see them but they're a fun group they really are i think you're going to enjoy them a lot i know there'll be good times bad times and stressful ones but if you don't treat them like a baby and you treat them like a dog give them rules boundaries and limitations you will be so much better off and you'll have such an easier time with your puppy so have a great week and a blessed one uh, if you have questions, call me. If you want to book in, call me. And watch for your email that I'm sending out. Have a good day. Talk to you later.